T plus 40 seconds. It's one hell of a sight from here. We see it arcing right over top of us. We see 33 out of 33 Raptor engines lit on Super Heavy as it starts to ascend skyward. Coming up on maximum aerodynamic pressure, then only about a minute and a half until we get into hot staging. Wow, Dan, that was incredible. <laughs> we could feel the building shaking here, feel the, the vehicle's power. Now we're just about a minute away from shutting down those engines on the booster. Again, this booster is flying for its second time today. All right, so hot staging coming up a little under a minute. We're going to see all but the three center engines turn off on the booster. So our version of Miko, most engines cut off. And then just a few seconds later, hoping to see six engines ignite on ship to push it away. All right, hot staging, about 30 seconds. And definitely keep an eye on which way the booster flips. First ever directional flip we're going for today should flip straight up. See those engines powering down? Booster engine cut off. Ship ignition. Stage separation. Incredible flip by Super Heavy Booster, and you can see those six engines, those three engines on the ship ignited. Six healthy Raptors <laughs> running on ship on its way to space. We're going to relight 13 engines, then bring that down to three engines. As, as, as we talked about earlier, we will be intentionally Booster shutting down. We will be shutting down one of those three center engines intentionally to push the limits of the super heavy booster. Super Raptor chamber pressure is nominal. And continuing to see six healthy engines on the ship, three sea level and three vacuum engines still ignited as the super heavy booster is making its way back down to earth. We can see those grid fins doing some heavy work. Booster landing start up. Ignited for our landing burn. Ship engine cut off. Ship, Ship engine cut insertion. off. The three most beautiful words in the English language. And great call out that we had nominal insertion. <sighs> An incredible flight test so far today. We reflew a super heavy booster for the very first time in nine test flights. Ship is in its orbital trajectory. Again, it's going to remain suborbital for its mission today. But it ignited all saved. It ignited all six of its engines and made it all the way through Seco just now. It, Starlink's been really great for Starship, obviously. Uh, getting live video back is really cool, but just the amount of high-speed telemetry, everything we're able to get back is insane. And for a development program, that's kind of everything. <laughs> uh, we're in excess of 100, 130 or 160. My numbers are fuzzy right now, just like my brain is. Uh, but well in excess of 100 megabits per second of downlink. And a lot of that gets eaten up by video. We've got dozens of cameras across Starship. We added several more in essentially a tumble. We had lost that attitude control. Um, so Starlink, when it's able to connect, able to feed this down, 
Uh, we are at the phase where we would expect entry to start uh, within the next minute or so. So we are entering uncontrolled, but again, we're entering into an airspace and a sea space that is cleared and monitored in advance of launch and before we get to this phase. And with the views that we are able to see, you are seeing a lot of that plasma build up uh, during reentry. We do expect the vehicle to see about 1400 degrees Celsius. And there you can see the, the flap uh, feeling that temperature there, a uh, little bit melting away. Uh, but as we expected with the uh, uh, spinning of the vehicle, we are no longer controlling the attitude of the vehicle. So this is now at this point in the, the test flight, it is expected uh, to see it begin to uh, demise a little bit on its way back down to earth. Yeah.